Okay, so for this, these making these small book structures, you will need a needle and thread, like that, about a metre worth of cotton, not doubled or knotted or anything, just threaded through. You'll need a metal ruler and a craft knife, ideally. If you don't have those, then just a pair of scissors would be fine. And that's everything. You'll also need some A4 paper. I'm using cartridge paper. You could use A4 copying paper, but cartridge paper will hold the form of your structures much better. So initially, we'll just make a simple concertina form. So you fold this lengthways. And tear it and take that piece fold it in half like this then fold that back turn it over and fold this back And there you have a simple concertina book structure. If you take that structure, you'll see that you can have a, a, a narrative running across it, a series of pictures or words, and you could go on the back or the front, or both. Now if you take that and tear one of the leaves off, you have a simpler structure which emphasises the negative and positive aspect of that. And in terms of our theme of secret stories, hidden secret stories, secret structures, hidden stories, you can um, use that shape in different ways. You can also make a pocket book. So if you take an A4 sheet of paper, fold about a third of the way up, so you have that like that, then fold that in half, fold that half back, Turn it over, fold the other half back, and then you have a concertina book with pockets. And with that, with the edges, you could stitch them down or glue them with some Pritt stick, and then you have these individual pockets that you can place things inside. Next we'll make a simple pamphlet, so take an A4 sheet of paper, fold it lengthways, tear that, fold this piece in half. that and fold the other piece in half tear that now just taking two of these pieces we'll fold the two in half together and I'm going to show you so we have a simple book the valley's there, the fold is there, I've got four sheets all together. Keeping that see that fold together, get your needle and thread. So 
So as I said before, it's not doubled and it's not knotted in any way. Just threaded through. We're going to make three holes, one in the centre, one halfway between the edge and the centre on that side, and another halfway between the edge, the other edge and the centre. So if I mark that with a pen so you can see, I've got don't mark this with a pen yourself, it's just to show you on the video. We've got three holes like so. Taking your needle and thread, go through from the valley side of the book into the central hole, out through the back and leave about this much thread at least sort of three inches or six centimetres. So you've gone from the centre through to the back and you're going to come back through one of the other holes so you have a stitch like that. You're then going to take that stitch and we're in the middle valley fold here go all the way to the other side, like so. So then you have this long stitch here and the short stitch at the back and your thread coming through at the back. From the back we're going to put the needle back through into the middle and bring it forward to the front. And I'm going to make sure that each of my strands of cotton are on either side of this central stitch. So if you see there, I've got my central stitch there and then these on either side and then I pull those. So I've got a nice fairly tight stitch at this point I'm going to cut my thread off, allowing about, I don't know, three to four inches or six to eight centimetres. And then I'm going to knot that across that central stitch, just a simple knot like the sort of knot that you start a bow with. Then I'm going to knot that one more time. And there you have a simple pamphlet stitch. Which makes a small booklet. And of course you can do more sheets if you want to. You could use thinner paper, handmade paper, tracing paper, wax paper. And the last structure that we're going to make is this barn door. And this is simply another half a sheet of paper, so we're going to fold that along the middle lengthways, tear that down, fold it in half. Fold it back again, turn it over, fold it back again. So this is just the fourth sheet concertina structure that we had before. So keeping that structure to one side, take those two pages that we had before Fold each of them in half, and we're going to stitch these into the concertina structure. So we'll push that one into that fold there, we'll do another pamphlet stitch. So 
So again, we're going to make those three holes, one in the middle, one halfway, another halfway between the middle and the other edge, like so. So one, two, three. I'm going to go in and through to the back. Holding that thread there, we're going to come back in like so. So we're going across here at the back, coming in, then along all the length, so that's going to be pulled through so we have a a long stitch there and then we're going to come back through into the middle so we should have something that looks like that at the back so we've got the stitch that's gone back through there and a gap here I'm going to close that gap bring that stitch through And then we're going to make sure that we have the cotton on either side of that long stitch. I'm going to cut that and again knot it. Repeat that with this other insert into the next fold with the pamphlet stitch and then what you'll have is a structure that looks like this. And again you can have as many inserts as you want to and that makes for a, a very interesting kind of readable structure with slightly more complex navigation. Thank you.